Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to select the correct Google categories from massive Google Maps rankings. Watch this! Hey guys, so before we get started, I just want to pay respect to my mentor, my friend, Darren Marion, who passed away uh, November 14th of 2021. I love you, brother. Guys, I got a great lesson for you today. It has to do with Google business profile uh, categories that you pick. Now, some people know what I'm speaking about. It's the categories that uh, Google allows you to, to, to pick within their console. And um, if you pick the correct categories in the correct order, you'll rank a lot better. So in today's example, I'm using the um, example plastic surgeon. I just feel like I've been using plumbing and electrician too much lately. So I'm just using um, plastic surgeon for this example. But if you have a plumbing or you're a lawyer or whatever, you're just, you know, just replace a plastic surgeon with your keyword. It works out exactly the same way. All right, so we type in the keyword plastic surgery, right? And we come down to the Google three pack and we want to get in here. That's the thing that's really important. We want to get in here because when we're on, uh, when we're on mobile, right? When we're on mobile, this is what we see. Right, so the, each one of these, we could just tap to call. We could just tap to call. So we want to be here because more than 50% of our traffic is coming through, you know, mobile device, a cell phone. So we want to be in this area right here. So uh, I want to show you not only how to be in this area, but how to, how to show up for more keywords than just plastic surgery or just electrician or plumber. I'm going to show you how to how to get found for a bunch of keywords. So this video you're going to find very, very interesting. So step one is we want to type in the keyword into Google that we're trying to rank for. So for example, in this example, we're using uh, plastic surgeon. And we're going to scroll down. And the first thing we're going to say is, how did Michael Mermanish get in the uh, get in there. I want to be there. I want to be in Solomon. I want to be here. You know, how do, how do I get here? I want to be here. I want to pop up, right? That's what people say all the time. So let me show you what to do. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to this website called Plepper. Now it's in the description below. I'll put it in the description below so you don't have to uh, remember it. You just click the link in the description below. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave it on the exact page. But just in case uh, you want to check it out later on, just go to Tools and just go to uh, Google My Business Categories List 2021. When you scroll down to the bottom, you type in Plastic Surgeon. Right? Easy enough so far. And you click this link. Okay. So for plastic surgeon, these are the most popular GMB categories. So I would suggest to select anywhere from three to five categories. This isn't a, um, a scientific uh, uh, tip that I'm giving you. I, I'm just saying that I believe that if you select too many categories, you, collect, you select all these categories, I, I believe you're going to water down exactly what you do. You want to try to stay as laser focused as possible. Okay. So the reason why this is important is because without this list, you would never know that, you know, medical spa is included in plastic surgeon or dermatologist, if that's what you do, or doctor to create, you know, a, a page on that. But we'll get to that in a second. So. It also lets you know the percent of occurrence, meaning meaning the amount of um, the amount of people, how popular these these GMB categories are for this specific main category. All right, that's fair enough. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our um, Google Business Profile Manager. And we're on the left-hand side, we're just gonna click Info. Now, this is really important before you start. If you don't have a domain name already, right? You don't have a business name. Don't call your business J&M Painting or J&M uh, Plastic Surgeon or uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, right? A better name for your business would be Elite Tampa Bay Plastic Surgery and Skin Care Clinic. Right. So what this does is it gives you the awesome power of using your city name. I'm located in Tampa Bay. Plus the GMB categories, plastic surgery and skin care clinic. Actually, it should have been plastic surgeon. Let me change that plastic surgeon because that's the gmb category right so elite tampa bay plastic surgeon and skin care clinic that should be the name of your business now you got to get paperwork you know uh you know llc paperwork or 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 corp corporate paperwork to show that that is really your business name okay so that's really important but that's for another video let's Let's, let's just get past that. That should be the name of your business. If it's not the name of your business, if you're a plastic surgeon or whatever you do, get a DBA and change change the name of your business to, to you know, top, elite, you know, best, whatever you want to call it, city name, and then GMB categories. It's just a fast way of ranking in the Google in the Google three pack. It's a really fast way. Now the only thing that can screw you up a little bit is if you've built citations in the past and you have 500 citations, say in J and M plastic surgery, and now you just changed the name of your business. So you want to do this early, right? You want to do this early. If um, if if the name of this business was J and M plastic surgery. Uh, I would call it, uh, 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 I would just modify the name if I had a bunch of, if I had a bunch of, um, citations, I would just modify the name to, uh, J and M plastic surgery of, of Tampa Bay, right? I try to put in the city name in there. Okay. So with that being said, I need to get these categories, right? Uh, because Plepper told me that these were the most popular categories. So what I do is I just come over to info, I hit this little uh, pencil icon, and then this is where I'm able to add all my categories. All right, great. So I have my categories, and you know what? A lot of people think that that is it, but it's not. Because what we need to do, and we're going back to Plumber, <laughs> is that we need to create pages for every page that you create, for every category, I'm sorry, that you create in, in Google Business uh, Profile Manager, for every category you create, you need to create a page on your website for all these categories. So if this was a uh, if this was a plastic surgery website, the first set of links would be all my GMB categories, GMP categories, right? The home page would be my first category, which is plastic surgeon. So everything here would be about plastic surgeon, and then my second category. My second GMB category is doctor. So my first link right here would say doctor. And then underneath there, underneath doctor would be medical spa. See, it would say doctor, it would say medical spa. All my GMB categories are your first set of links. Right? 
pretty easy. Now your services are all your keyword pages. All right, that's easy enough, right guys? That's easy enough. So anytime you create a, 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 a category here, you need to create a page on your website. I like to put my GMB categories as the first set of links. Now, you need to write content for these categories, right? You need to write content. You need to write content for these, cat for these categories. Well, I want to make sure that Google really knows that I'm a plastic surgeon. That, it, that it's very evident to them. And also, I want to rank for other keywords. So what I do is I come over to Keyword Planner. That's just at ads.google.com. I type in each one of my categories. So for example, Plastic Surgeon is one of my categories. And I take all these keywords and I add them to my page. So for example, I'll add face surgery. I'll add bad plastic surgery. I'll add nip, lip surgery, eye lip. I'll add all these keywords to my page. I'll put them in the H1 tags. I'll sprinkle them throughout, right? Right over here. I'll sprinkle them in the article that I'm writing. See that? But I'm gonna try to get in all the keywords that Google associates plastic surgeon with these are all the keywords that Google associates with that term. Google categorizes your website in, into a category, not just your Google business uh, profile category, but its own category. And you have to really make sure that when you write the article, you're using the correct words and terms. So Google could say for sure, you're a plastic surgeon because you know what there's not much of a um, there's not much of a of a of a, um, a shift in categories let's just say between plastic surgeon and plastic surgery clinic right if you don't use the right keywords you may be listed as a plastic surgery clinic and you may say well eh, it's the same thing it's the same thing until you're looking to be plastic surgeon and you can't be found here because Google doesn't have you listed as a plastic surgeon. They see you more as a plastic surgeon, uh, surgery clinic, and that is based on the text that you write on your website. So you want to come over to Keyword Planner and you want to take all these keywords, not all, I'm sorry. For example, I wouldn't take Dr. Michael o Obey. This is somebody that is a plastic surgeon. I mean, unless I need to refer to his work, then I would use him in the article. Right? But I would just go through this and all these keywords would be on the page somehow. Yeah, we throw it. We even put Angelina Jolie in there. You know, you want to look like Angela Jolie by having plastic surgery? This is what she did. That'd be a nice... A nice H H two tag or something like that, right? Okay, guys. So, listen. This this lesson the these these are the these are the jewels that help you rank. Eighty percent of all SEO is on page optimization. You could talk about embedding maps and doing pins and and stacking and. Okay, that, that, that's nice, right? I'm not putting anybody down who teaches that. I'm just saying that if, if your foundation isn't right, your website isn't right, you're just not going to rank. I don't care how many map pins you do. You need to have the proper text and pictures on your website. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, like I say in all my videos, uh, please take care of your family. Please kiss your wife, kiss your kids. Clean up around the house. Get up from that computer chair every once in a while and help out around the house. All right. And uh, I cannot get the song Rocky Raccoon out of my head. I, I, I don't know why. I, I just...
I don't know. I, I, I listen to it all the time lately. I'll put a link to Rocky Raccoon in the description below. You know what? In your comments, reference Rocky Raccoon. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do something for somebody who references. If you stayed to the end and you reference Rocky Raccoon, maybe I got a little special gift for you. All right, guys. Everybody have a great day, and we will catch you tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.